All right. Um, legal department this week. Uh, Les Miles okay. is suing LSU. Uh, not uncommon. We have coaches suing schools, but this one's not even about money. Hey, uh, I think he already got paid. Uh, Les is suing LSU, saying that the vacating of wins, I guess they they offered to vacate wins in response to an NCAA infractions case that uh, the school under Les Miles was found guilty of. He he found that to be uh, unfair. He they LSU vacated thirty seven victories of Le, of Les Miles uh, due to recruiting violations. This is from ESPN stemming from impermissible benefits paid to the father of uh, a former player by a former booster. Uh, Les is saying, "Hey, he didn't do it. Why did he have to lose his victories? Now because he lost those thirty seven wins, he has a winning percentage." Well, it dropped his winning percentage to point from point six six five to point five nine seven. Now, uh, who cares? Well, the the College Football Hall of Fame cares. You must have a coach must have won at least sixty percent of his games point six zero zero in at least one hundred games to qualify for selection in the College Football Hall of Fame. It is a hard and fast rule, and because of that. Les Miles can is not eligible because of this vacating of wins is not eligible to uh, be in the uh, in the College Football Hall of Fame. Now, as was pointed out, uh, he went he only won three games like he went like three and eighteen or something at at Kansas. Yeah, and yeah, three and nine. If he had just gone didn't four and eighteen, record. yeah, <laughs> he would have gotten yeah. over. So maybe he shouldn't have done the money grab at Kansas. And been so bad, yeah. I don't know which. Uh, which I guess we could people's court this. I guess what. What do we think, Pat? Mm. Justice forty. What mm. do you got? Yeah, I got an easy solution for less. You know, get the job at like Nickel State or somewhere for a year and win yourself a couple <laughs> of games and and then retire. You can actually, if you start two and zero, oh, retire. <laughs> what? So that would be my suggestion. <laughs> go get, go get some. <laughs> Some low-level job, win two games. Say, thanks, I'm done here. Justice Ford has been drinking too early on a Wednesday, I think. <laughs> Certainly in this one strategy. <laughs> Why not? Quit on the team? Yeah. I mean, it's less miles. Uh, he quit on Kansas, basically. He went there and he coached while in semi-retirement. Uh, I don't think Les is in any condition to – to retake the field as a as a coach, as we saw that toward the end of the the can, Kansas tenure, this is um yeah I, this is a tricky one uh, because the vacated wins stem from you know improper benefits um, NCAA investigation that produced improper benefits for recruits father specifically in a job in Baton Rouge um, and Les was the the coach then. I think it was 13, 2013, 2012, uh, the recruiting class um, in that that player. Um, I believe it was Vidal Alexander, offensive lineman, played in, you know, X amount of games. And um, those games were were vacated. It, this is something that's been done through, through history. So I don't think that's changing. It doesn't seem like LSU is going to change that and unvacate uh, those victories. I, I do. Um, I am interested in the National Football Foundation, who, which manages the Hall of Fame and decides their board decides uh, who's on the Hall of Fame and, and who's or who, who's nominated for the Hall of Fame and who's not, and it goes through this rigorous process. If they will relax on the sixty percent winning winning percentage, um, not just for Les Miles, uh, but for Mike Leach as well. You know, um, we, we I know we talked about that a year and a half ago or so. I remember right after Mike died, I had a story about that specifically because Archie Manning, had, who, was the, who was the chair of the NFF, uh, called and, and, uh, and told me that uh, he believes that the, you know, that Mike should be in the Hall of Fame and there should be a way to make that happen. Uh, Mike's winning percentage is whatever, somewhere 59. 0.596. He's basically mm -hmm. a game away. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, yeah. So, 
I think about Mike Leach not being in the Hall of Fame, somebody who whose coaching tree is huge and whose influence on offensive football is just about as big as, as anybody in the history of the game. Yeah, there's a plenty of people in and around football who are kind of lobbying for Leach on his behalf. Not not as many that I've heard from about less, but uh, the Leach thing has definitely been a, a sticking point with a lot. I mean, of Leach folks. he never won the national title like like Les Miles, obviously. Um, he also never got to coach at LSU. Uh, he Correct. had three losing seasons, uh, four losing seasons his entire career. First year at Washington State, first year at Mississippi State, like three and nine, four and seven. So that really dragged him down. He had another three and nine at Washington State. Uh, he had a six and seven. I mean, Washington State was so down when he got there. But then he got it built up. He obviously built up. To, I mean, it's really hard to say Mike Leach shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Les Miles, I don't know. I I, I, this, I feel like Hall of Fames take a little, take themselves a little too seriously, but. I do understand you don't want to just get overloaded by every single coach that did anything. Um, but Mike Leach certainly is a is a specific uh candidacy that I, I do like. So I don't know. Yeah. Let, Mike Leach and, and Howard yeah. Schnellenberger are the two guys that I think helped change the game, and that should be probably under greater consideration than winning. Yeah, I, I did a story and like I, I don't know if without Mike Leach you you have um Patrick Mahomes at this uh at this point, right? Like I mean I I don't know if he coaches quite that way. 